The book of Exodus is the second in a five-part work written by Moses. It tells the story of God delivering Israel from slavery in Egypt and establishing them as his own special people. The title is taken from the book's main event, the Exodus or departure of the Israelites from Egypt. Today's reading, chapter one, tells of a forgotten legacy and the dire results. The legacy forgotten was that of Joseph, a Hebrew son, whom by God's hand had risen to a position in Egypt, second only to Pharaoh, the deified leader. In verse six, we're told, in time, Joseph and all of his brothers died, ending that entire generation. But their descendants, the Israelites, had many children and grandchildren. In fact, they multiplied so greatly that they became extremely powerful and filled the land. Eventually, we're told, a new king came to power in Egypt who knew nothing about Joseph for what he had done. He said to his people, look, the people of Israel now outnumber us and are stronger than we are. We must make a plan to keep them from growing even more. The plan they made was slavery, and it was characterized with phrases like wearing them down, crushing labor, brutal slave drivers, without mercy, and ruthless in all their demands. But the more the Egyptians oppressed them, the more the Israelites multiplied and spread. So the Pharaoh turned to genocide. First, the Hebrew midwives were ordered to kill all the male children that were born. When that didn't work, Pharaoh then gave the order for his own people to throw every newborn Hebrew boy into the Nile River. But little did Pharaoh know that God had a plan to use the brutal slavery, the attempted genocide, and even the treasured Nile River to raise up a leader that would deliver God's chosen people out of bondage. It all starts with the birth of Moses, and we'll look at that tomorrow in chapter two.